If you like it, the Man United dash on with today, the last home game, the last game of the season. Man United, as used to Red Army fans, are here to tell you how they felt about the season and the last game against Wolves. What was your game reaction to that match? I'm happy for the win, you know. It was good to see the first team get a change of players, see some younger talent get in there. You know, I'd like to keep a clean sheet, but that's not possible at the moment. So, uh, a <laughs> 2 1 result is good. I'll take it. I'll take it from the B team. Yeah. Um, the kids, B team. Yeah, the B team. Yeah, like the B yeah. team is the kids. Yeah. I mean, I, that, that's not, I think some of them played well. Um, I would have liked to see some more goals because I think we had a chance to score. And I would have loved to see a clean sheet myself. But uh, overall, good game. I think I think going into this game, we had nothing to play for, really. I mean, not in the league, at least. Sure. Only second place. Uh, big focus on... Uh, <laughs> Well, yeah, but big focus on uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. So, oh, yeah. I mean, for all things considered, B team and whatnot, but uh, we had some youngsters play out there. I think that's going to really boost their confidence. And uh, I mean, it wasn't our best performance, but we got the win. An ugly win is still, still a win. Um, thinking back on what he said, yeah, I mean, we had nothing to play for. And actually, I think if we had played the stronger team, we might have tied a lot. That's a be harsh. That's a be harsh. <laughs> They would have been just taking it easy. It would have been just vibes, FC. And you all they went ahead and threw a bunch of people on the team. Big man team. The lineup that had passion, they had something to prove, and they definitely, they, they definitely did their thing today. A lot of, you know, a lot of credit to the youth, man. Um, I give the credit to the youth, like everybody just said, man. Uh, we had, we had nothing. To, we had, I mean, even if we lost, we, we, we won. We still had no. It was our me. We would still have finished second. So um, it's a good thing going to the finals on Wednesday. Hopefully, we win the Europa League on Wednesday. No, I, I think for me, again, yeah, not a greatest performance, but I think all in all, makes me feel pretty positive going forward, you know, just for the team in general, to go and see us, again, with not our greatest players out there, still getting, still getting a good victory. So all in all, as an organization, I think, from a team, I think it's a uh, positive performance. Well, we, we, when you end the season with a big note, with a win, with a young star, obviously that's going to make you feel right. So I'm not going to say anything different than what my friends all to say. It's a good win. We gave chances to young star, Ilanga scored. What else do you need? Because you need to develop your young star, and that's the best time to do that when you don't have pressure. You already made the second uh, spot, and that's score. You know, so I'm happy with the first one. Yeah, man, good performance by the young team. I mean, young players, they play well. I mean, they show passion. This is what I really wanted to see. I wasn't expecting us to win. But the guys, they went out there, these young boys, they, they showed their heart. They showed Ole that they want to be part of this team. Um, yeah, good performance. And then one more last thing. United have gone through the whole season without being beaten away. Yes. We haven't yeah. lost a game away this whole season. Right. So that is that is a good accomplishment. Um, I give that to the team. Give that to Ole. Good job. Yep. Okay, just to piggyback again. Uh, glad to see Ole put some young cats in there. And, uh, really, really excited for the rest of the future. Right, with, with the mixed team today, a different team, a different number, what player stood out for you that, you know, you saw, you liked the performance, you're happy, like this guy's for the future? That's, you know, who was your man of the match in this change team? Uh, this man of the match. I have to give it to Donnie. Donnie looked really good today. I, I, I don't know if I have a, like a definitive better than that. Because everybody on the team had their, you know, they had their fuck ups and, you know, they, had, they, they, they I, 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 I might give it to either Donnie or uh, Mata because they managed that team as, as well as they could. And um, yeah, either, it's split between Donnie or Mata. And are we going Donnie because he won us the penalty? Or? Other than that, I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't think there's a clear, there's a clear, clear man of the match in this game. Um, I definitely think Ilanga did really well. He was, he was running down the flanks. He was, he was, he was attacking. So I mean, I, I think just from like an effort standpoint, I think, I think Ilanga gets. It. I'd give it to the youngsters as a whole, getting out there, doing the job. You know, some of them it was their really their first time playing a whole game. Yeah. Um, it was their debut, I think, for the one or two. Animals. Animal and uh, fish. Uh, yeah, so I'd give it to the, to the youngsters as a group. Yeah, we'll just pick it back on the same. The youngsters provided some energy into the team today that was well needed. We got to see some performances today that we probably wouldn't have. If we're in a different situation in the league. As far as individual performances go, uh, I like Diallo and I like Ilanga. You know, I like how they both provide pressure in certain situations. 
Hannibal today, for as little as he had, was really great on the ball. You know, dribbling past defenders, you know, vision is there. In the future, I think he needs to be promoted to the first team as well with Diallo. So uh, a couple of players stood out to me today. Uh, Matic played well today. Uh, Donny Van der Beek, both Matic and Donny Van der Beek ran that midfield very well, in my opinion. Um, I think Ahmad Diallo played well. I think Elanga he played well. He showed like tenacity, he showed drive. He was, he was trying to get behind everything. And that goal from Elanga, that's a goal that Radford won't score. <laughs> <laughs> it was a brave header, bro. Yeah. That's, a, that's a goal. That's a goal that Cavani would score. Yeah. Radford won't score. I don't even think Marcel scored that goal. No, no, uh, um, yeah. So, uh, you know, I think those players to me, um, Ahmad, Alanga, um, Donny, and Matic, they play well. Yeah, so, obviously, when you are giving a chance to youngster mm -hmm. and they shine in the camp. Obviously, you have to give your vote to them because they literally went their heart out. Thanks to Ole for giving the opportunity, especially when needed, because it was not a very pressure game. We already secured the second spot. Ilanga, he literally kind of surprised me with the goal because when somebody like just coming out of the page, youngster scored in the crucial header, like the way my friend Ray described, you have to give credit to the person. So I'm not going to uh, give uh, Ilanga as a man of the match, but he's obviously one of the best players that stood out and alongside. Johnny Van Der Beek, he literally played 90 minutes. Okay. Yeah, he because played 90 actually, I just remembered. For him, the second season, he was more of like a regular player next season. And apart from that, you know, whenever the other players like Hannibal and the Fish got chances, they tried to prove them. They tried to prove that tenacity. And they have that tradition, they have that quality to play in the next season. So I think this game was kind of a blueprint for the next season, like how our reserve bench should be. And right. I really uh, give uh, total credit to Ole for picking this uh, lineup for today and giving full rest to Bruno because that's really crucial for the yeah. lineup. Yeah. Uh, honestly again like but there was an I for this like I, I thought his name was like a mantra. But no I again like like what Bibbs was saying that goal, I mean that was that was a quality goal. Sure, getting yeah, himself yeah, stuck yeah. in to go and get that again Many of our players, I'm sorry, don't have that tenacity to go and stick that head, stick that True. head in there and get it. So I really, really like seeing that. Um, and no, I, I think there's a lot to come from that young man. Again, then he also talked about Bruno. He decided he was going to try to do the, the Bruno Fernandez uh, go back post uh, and just skied it over the, the crossbar that one time. He was feeling yeah. himself. And, 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 I, and, I, and I was like, I saw that and it's like, that, that's just pure youth. But yeah. you know what? To make For him, today. I, but <laughs> honestly, you got to say that's positive because he's, he, he's got he's it in his mind that, yeah. yeah. you know what? Yep. One day I can be Bruno. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And, and so, really and so I, I, I really like to see that. So I'll give it to you. Hello, Arsenal. Hello. Oh, so you, man of the match, I give it to Ole. Oh, Ole. The top man. <laughs> he's the top man, but he's the man of the match he's for, the for okay. whatever I did. By All right. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Houston Red, I've told you how they feel about the game. We're going to talk about the game on Wednesday. See you guys. Thank you. Glory, glory. Can we talk about this? Not